guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 6 of Bang Dream, It's Michael. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Baby, my hands are just trembling. Uh oh. Money. <gasps> He's writing a song. Nice. Mm. Something's better than nothing, right? Somebody looking for Rana? I oh, know her lyrics. I wrote something. It's still so weird that we're we're on week three for all of our other shows, and for this we're like already at the halfway point. And well, really between this week and next week we'll be at the halfway point. But still, it's super weird. Like, yes, I, I once again love the fact that you know they decided to go ahead and put all three episodes out and such. But it feels like this is just gonna go or fast and it already has and such and this is also once again reminding me that either tomorrow when i come home from work or monday or tuesday i still need to watch the more funica ovas so i only really have two shows tomorrow so i'll probably end up watching it tomorrow even though it only took me like an hour but i ain't getting home till three mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Of course, she gonna fill some pipe away, though. But see, but Mitsumi doesn't even want to be in a band. We all know that from the previous. So why would you want to ask her? That makes no sense.
She wasn't really waiting for y'all. Girl. Something maho from D4DJ would you be like, I'm not going to school today, I'm making music. Sounds really good. Oh, she's finally here again. Thank you. I was wondering when she was going to pop up again. Uh, well, then we'll make a part. Little cat smile, ah! <laughs> Damn, you get all the discounts. <laughs> the student, the employee, and the early reservation discount. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> that's probably like adding that all together, maybe like 80%. She got she got cram school. Hmm. I wonder if we'll ever get contacts on that. Thing is starting, she might pop up.
Yeah, you could have at least called or texted her. Oh, no, we talked about her. <laughs> Our straight kitty. <laughs> Yeah, put your contact info on there. So oh, wouldn't that be better? Oh, uh, girl, damn. Here's my thing. Did Rana ever officially say she was joining the group? No. So she's going to come in like a damn straight cat all the time. You might see her and you might not. You can't be mad at her about that. Exactly. The fact that she still waits even now, knowing that, you know, she's not going to come out there. That was a little weird that they just gave her a 2D part, but okay. Of course she's not here. She might not even come at all. Okay. No, they're not saying that.
I didn't think top you wanted to say something about you before she left, but um. <laughs> so you don't worry about your band I mean cuz you know what she she seems very cold like Yukina. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that cuz like at first I thought Yukina was hella cold. But once you really get to know Yukina, you're like, "Damn." Like, I really feel bad. For you, but I love you. I love all my Rosalia babies. <laughs> mm. Taki! Stop running! <laughs> it's after hours so nobody cares you would think one of them would slip and fall because they're not wearing shoes they're only wearing socks now <laughs> the big behind band a day. Don't be mean. Hmm? 
Oh. So, Rana, you go here too? Yeah, you are a stray cat. That's a long ass cat. One thing I am going to say, yes, I, I get that Soyo is still hung up on Krysik and wanting to bring them back together because that that's ultimately her goal. But at the same time, she really needs to accept that Krysik is never going to come back together, regardless of whatever she wants to do, how she wants to get it done and such. And by bringing her old bandmates together, they're not going to see eye to eye anymore. And I really wish she would see that and finally get over it. But because she seems very determined and hard-headed to see this through to the end, of course, it like I said, she's kind of going to be the one, as I said in the beginning, to be the to be the longest to join the group between her and Rana because Rana is a sometimes eh? um. In my opinion, just as much as Soyo. Uh, but <laughs> Miss Little Stray Cat over here, she likes to come in on her own time. And I, I feel like that's because she's, once again, she's not a really a part of the group. She's more like a quote-unquote substitute. Soyo is still like that because of the fact that she's like, oh, I'll help you, but I'm still going to do my old bandmates and everything. And the fact that What's-Her-Face is still avoiding Soyo, and even, you know, Soyo asking her friend who goes to school with her, like, oh, hey, you want to go here? You want to come to the concert and everything? But it's like, why ask her? Because she didn't even want to join. She, Your friend forced y'all to join this concert. Yeah, Afterglow! <laughs> um, to join... <laughs> this group and you know only because so y'all can hang out more together and such but out of everybody some of y'all was not feeling it we saw this issue in ep the first three freaking episodes and such so why you know waste your time on all this baggage and such you're you're not only hurting them but you're making you're hurting yourself and you're making yourself feel worse about it and she is an interesting character, don't get me wrong, because, like, I think when I looked at the the 2D sprites, before the 3D stuff came in, she was kind of be, like, she was going to initially be best girl for me and such. Right now, I'm, I'm, like, I'm still torn about who is best girl in this group. I think I initially said Mori because I was like, oh, my God, she's so precious and adorable and I love her so much. But still, even now, I'm still torn. <laughs> like, they're all best girls in their own different opinion, but, like, I really need Sayo to really get over this. She's she's trying way too much. And it's just like, you know, she she says she's all in for this new group, but she has one foot in, one foot out. If anything happens with this new group, she's still going to try regardless to get her old group back. Because she's having um major PTSD. And I would say not really depression as a uh, as well with it, but she is feeling some type of way. She really truly is, and it's just like I feel like she's going to lash out, or she's finally gonna be like, okay, you know what? I've tried and I waited for you guys long enough. Maybe this is the first step of initiative for me to officially be with these girls in this new group. Who knows? We we just gotta know until like episode seven of next week, but. Other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 6 of Bang Dream. It's my goal. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys on Thursday for episode 7. Bye, guys.